Welcome to my channel. <laughs> this is the maiden flame oh, of what I call now the swift. Look at this. That's got to be the. Look at this speeding goose. <laughs> Sorry. The very first time it really flew very really well. It's just so easy to control. <laughs> that was an amazing day, really. So I was so surprised how well it performed. Such an easy plane to control. So this is a making of it. Just a few explanations to keep you, uh, give you some information to keep you right. This is obviously the foam board that I use, the five millimeter foam board. Quite heavy and quite strong. So this project started with this idea of making a plane looking like a swift. So I inspired myself with uh, with the shape of the bird. We see a lot of them right now in Scotland in the summer. The original idea was to make it um, without uh, vertical stabilizers. As it happened, it did not really work. I think it could work, but well, I changed my mind halfway through, and you'll see it through the video. This is the original EDF um, I was planning to use, which I used at the beginning. And here, obviously, is the original cutting of the board. So once I had the basic shape, I just duplicated the same shape to the other side, obviously. Just trying to get it uh, right for the um, 11 as well. I think I end up with a plane which is slightly thicker. That I was planning, not thicker, sorry, larger. Let's just say at the core, I end up with 40 centimeters, 400 millimeters. That's slightly more than I think I'll try again with a little bit less. But it works really well, so let's, let's be happy with that. Here yeah, is obviously shaping the. 11. The idea is not to go through the whole board and just give it a, giving it a, a cut, two cuts, remove some material so you have a full range. Not to forgetting it, to remove a little bit on the sides there so that it doesn't stick. I don't like leaving too much gap, just a millimeter or two. The servos, I decided to put them at that place. <clears throat> I think it could obviously be higher up, but it works perfectly well for the center of gravity of this, required to fly this, um, this wing. With the servos, I like to use this wire. They are soft. Well, you can bend them with your hands, but um, well, it means you can easily ship this even on the field. But they are strong enough to um, to work without any problems, as long as you're not too far, obviously, from the servo to the to the eleven. I often um, recycle the parts which goes with the servos. I find it works very well. 
just sometimes have to make the hole a bit bigger for these wires. I just use a lot of uh, a lot of glue for this because uh, once or twice um, that was a part which failed. So not afraid to put a lot of glue there to give it a nice strong base. And this is a fiddly bit, obviously. You have to get it right. You've got you want to. You, you, you need to spend a bit of time doing it before you get on the field as good as you can. And as it happens, because of the part I'm going to add to the extremities of the wing, it um, you don't need to put too much reflex. What I mean is the L11 can be pretty much flush with the body and it flies that way very well. So the tip of the wing, I decided to put it at uh, at an angle, slight angle, so that it would um, act like the prandle type of wing, where you actually don't need um, a vertical stabilizer. That was the original idea. I think it could be done, but in this case, I end up changing my mind and now you'll see it through the video. Here is the first position where I put the EDF. Now, this was a previous project. I had made... Um, the body, the fuselage for a plane, and I thought it would just be the perfect thing for what I'm doing right now. So I'm just showing you quickly what it looks like. This can be done that way, it could be done many, many uh, other ways. What I liked about that particular project is the shape of the body, you can see it. I was able to bend the, the board to have a nice rounded shape. I think it's very, uh, very nice. So this is what we end up doing, and uh, you can see all the electronics here. And uh, you can see I decided to use to put this part at 10 centimeters basically it's 10 centimeters out of the 40 so we are about 25 percent at the center and maybe sli slightly more definitely slightly more at the end of the of the wing here i use this uh, other type of foam board which is very, very light, used for on the floor. If you need the, the details of this, where I got this board, you know, I'll easily put it in the description. So here we end up with uh, an extra thickness of five millimeters. And another, I, I'm putting another part here at the beginning close to the core to actually make it one centimeter thickness at the center. So I end up roughly about six to seven centimeter thickness for the wing. I was really not sure if I thought maybe it could be a bit thin, um, but as it happened, it works very well. giving the ship a ship to the wing one of my favorite part really this kind of shaping with the blade
amazed me when I was a young man and I was shipping, uh, doing bows and arrows in the forest. You can see this was an old, uh, well, the fuselage had a big hole in it because it had um, originally the motor at the front. But um, I thought it would be a problem, but it was not. I just used, actually covered the front with some foam to protect the the wing against um, the eventual eventual uh, bombs. I had a few of them, but not too many. Just so you'll see it in the maiden flight. Now this part is not my favorite part. Putting some tape, <laughs> some tape at the front of the wing again to give it a bit of protection, but um, well, it's required. You need that. The gluing, and this is what I end up with. Looks, I really, uh, I keep saying it, but I really like the look of this, of this one. I think it looks good and it flies good because of the shape. And you can see the angle, uh, the tip of the wing, which makes it fly pretty well. Yeah, the idea was to put a bit of foam and uh, I thought well I'll reshape it give it something a bit more a bit nicer to look at and I actually kept it so far it's uh, I think it finishes the uh, wing pretty well and can protect um, myself or others even though it's a very light wing 550 grams. So this is what I end up doing. I end up putting this um, vertical stabilizer just at the end of the 11 and moving, uh, changing the motor to make it a little bit more forward for the CG it helped and I find that um, this is what I'm going to duplicate again. This is a mixes I'm going to uh, use for this um, for this wing. Oh. If you're interested, I could really you know, show you how I end up getting this. I think it worked very well. Exponential for flying. 